Okay, so I've got a bit of an issue with the uh, toilet here. Uh, it, let's have a bit of a listen. I think you can hear this. I'll just be quiet. You can hear that um, the water's still running. Hear that faint water. And if you look in the toilet bowl, let's zoom down the toilet bowl. And you can see the water running through the back here. So you can actually, with your finger, you can see it. And also, if you don't want to get your hands dirty, grab yourself some toilet paper. And so you test it, and you can just put the toilet paper there. And you can see the toilet paper getting wet there. So I've got a bit of an issue here with the toilet. Toilet bowl, the water's running down, down through, through the back. So how do you fix this issue? Let's have a look. All right. So first thing to do, you need to get the top off the toilet here. This is a Chroma 230 series. And it's got like a little little notch here. And it's got a tab in there, so. Let's see, you've got to do everything one-handed here. So you get some, get some little needle nose pliers, press in, and then you can lift up. So let's get the top off. Let's have a quick look. What's going on? All right. Let's do a quick lesson on how a toilet works. So you've got the mains here. So I'll, I'll turn this off for now. So you can hear there, it's uh, no water's running through now. You can see that's when it's leaking. All right, so the mains comes up through here, up into the inlet valve. So what I can do as well, is I'll turn the water on again, and you've got the, uh, you can tell here when you, when you lift it up, that turns off the water. All right, so the water comes through here, and then when you press the, when you flush the toilet, down the bottom there, opens up and the toilet, the water flows through. So we'll flush the toilet now. Yep. So the issue is, I'll just turn this off so you can hear me. So the issue is down, down there, uh, there's a um, rubber seating valve and that, that actually, the rubber washer gets perished and that's why you're getting water leaking through and down down here and then it runs down into the toilet. So let's see how we can fix this. It's quite simple actually. The first thing you need to do, we will do this one handed, uh, got this little, little bit here, you've got to pull this out. Pull this out. Most of them will be the same. So leave that somewhere where you don't lose it. There we go. So take take out this bit to float. You can see here it's just empty piece. And you can actually adjust, you can adjust this little adjusting screw here. So you can actually adjust the level which it turns off the inlet valve. So the other thing to mention is, I'll put this down here. You could have like a leaky washer in here. If, if, if this never shuts off, you'll have a leaky washer here. Now in this particular system, you don't have an overflow. So if you've got water flowing and it's running over here, there'll be a leaky valve in here. But mine works, so it's basically the outlet valve. All right, so how do you get to that? I've got these clips here. Let's be interesting if I can do this one handed. So we've got to, there you go, bend the clip forward a little bit and then lift up from underneath. Uh, here we go. Let's get this a little bit, a little bit fiddly one here. Let's see if we can do it left handed. There we go. So, let's take the whole mechanism up, up and out. And we'll see here the problem. This rubber washer, here we go. The rubber washer here is really perished. Let's see if I can look up close. You can see here it's all it's all perished and just falling apart, and that's what that's leaking the water into the bowl. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this rubber washer off. I'm gonna to go to Bunnings or Home Depot as you have in America, and I'm gonna get a new one.
Now believe it or not, I actually cleaned this bowl a bit. It was filthy, full of brown water. <laughs> so I cleaned it up a bit. It's a good, good time to give it a good clean now. Um, we'll do the video and we'll give it a good clean. All right, off to Bunnings we go. Hey, we're at Bunnings, let's go have a look for this part. This one, older style Karuma. This will be it. Any reason that you're videotaping it? Oh yeah, YouTube video. Two dollars <laughs> forty-five, thanks. Yeah, there we go. So here we go. For a mere two dollars forty-five, we should be able to fix this. Now, as you can see, it looks a bit bigger, but the in inside diameter is correct, and you'll see here it's a little bit thicker than the new one. So what I think is happening is that's over the years just gets stretched and thinned out that's what caused it to leak so it should fit so let's let's go inside and uh, fit it okay so we've got the washer now there's several videos I've looked at said that you should uh, put a bit of soap on so these things are pretty hard to put on so got a bit of water there get a bit wet got some uh, pump soap let's put some soap on there with a uh, or dishwashing liquid soap it all up Let's see how hard this thing is to get on. Alright, so position it there. Just get the first half on. A bit like putting a bike tire on. I'm good at that, so I should be good at this. And uh, as predicted, I'm pretty good at this. Now, I'll just go grab a knife because actually you might just use a bit of pliers. You want to get this nice and even all around here, so I'll just go get a knife and some pliers. Hang on. Okay, so we've got the knife here, so I just want to just go around, try and get it nice and even, and just in here. Now this hasn't got the serrated edges, so you can't really damage it. Just want to try and get it as seated, nice and flat and seated as possible. It just looks a little bit off centre, that's why I bought, bought my little nose pliers just to that's probably okay. Let's have a look in there. Try and look in there and make sure it's all seated properly. I think we should be okay. It looks like it's seated pretty well. And let's have a look here. And it should be fine. All right, let's give it a go. Okay, here we are back at the cistern. I've got my new seat valve installed there, little washer, and I've cleaned, I've cleaned all around the lip here, and you just want to use like a, uh, just a soft rag, you don't want to pit anything in here because that's, that's the little surface that's uh, the rubber washer needs to seal with. Alright, let's put this all back together again, it's basically the reverse of what we did. Here, let me just cross so you can have a look a bit better. There we go. Just got little tabs there, so just push these in, and that should click. Click and click, and we're in. All right, next we need the uh, lever. This can be a little fiddly just lining up the holes here. Let's get these going. Get the 
retaining pin and we should be able to warm this up push it all back together and that seats down and it's got a little groove there and we're in turn the water back on hopefully we have success Okay, so we're back to square one again a little bit because um, it was still leaking when I when I put the water when I assembled it again it was still leaking and I found another video online and um, apparently you need to push using the butter knife you need to push the rubber all the way around and until it seals along here. Now this, this one's so old it's a bit dirty, but if, if you've got a clear one there, you'll be able to see it'll be, it should be all black around here when you see the rubber ceiling. So I'll do that. I can, I can just see it. So I'll do this. I won't bore you with this and then we'll put it all together and we'll see if it works. Okay, so that actually fixed it because you can see here, there's no water running down now. You can see that's remaining fairly dry. It's just a little bit of water on the back of the bowl. So there's no, no water running down and making it slip down. So that, that, that worked. Nice and dry. So yeah, guys. Hope you like that one. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.